Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Create Above and Beyond playthrough. And through these vines. Here we go. I've got a Wither Skeleton spawner here. I have got an Enderman spawner. There is a Stray spawner here, or Enderman here, Stray here. And yeah, this is the bottom layer of one of the, uh, the roguelike dungeons, pretty much. And I managed to preserve every spawner down here. Pretty sure I did anyway. Oh, hello, what are you? Regular skeleton, huh? Meh. I got my charm belt on there. They're not going to uh, pay attention to me at all, so. Alright. So. Let's try this whole uh, minecart contraption thing out from, from Create. And I'm not exactly sure how this works, right? Okay, place on a real block. That works. Thank you for letting me know. There we go. And now I need to give this thing power. There we go. Yoink. And then I guess we can just go ahead and... Oh, really now? Oh, that just made things so much worse. <laughs> it really did. Oh, all right. Uh, well, hmm. that is my Wither Skeleton spawner. I am at Y level 13, and let's see, here we go. There's my base. That's where we are. That's why I said this just made everything so much worse. Um, if I want to do anything with these, I have to actually have to get these back to my base. Apparently there's a, a config option or something that's preventing me from picking up spawners. That was not a welcome bit of information. All right, but we have, well, Enderman spawner, Wither Skeleton. And one thing we can do with Ender Pearls, which I think maybe, well, no, I need, uh, I need a good amount of bone meal and I need Ender Pearls as well. But uh, we can sell these things off in the, I thought we could sell off Ender Pearls. Can we not? I may not be able to sell these ones actually. Oh, well, not a huge issue. But yeah, we need, well, this stuff to make Enderium. All poise bush, huh? And wireless boosters. All right, so what would be a good way to move a couple of mine carts? But, well, it's going to be four mine carts, honestly. It's not going to be much worse to move, you know, four than two. And we need you again. Can I give you a redstone from up top or do I have to break one of these blocks? Uh, you know, I can't tell, so I'm just going to play it safe. The little indicator light was hidden. So, all 
Yep. And we're going to get the rails down again. Drop you off. Grab you. And boom. Right then. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a challenge, isn't it? All right, well, we're back at base now and not doing that one again. That was, yeah, no, not great. Uh, stack of rails at a time. Uh, 64 blocks at a go from 1,593 meters away. Back to here. And then getting them set up was a little bit of fun. You have to work from the top down because of how the the minecart contraption things work. But, uh, yeah, I've got eight spawners in there now. Uh, I think it's one creeper, one zombie, two withers, two enders, and two strays, maybe? I don't know. I haven't quite figured out exactly what all is what. And, oh, I still need to get that up down there, too, to something. But uh, we have a water wheel here, and all it's doing is powering these belts. I've got a windmill up here, and it's sending power down, and then through some gearboxes, do some crushing wheels. And I'm going to have to rearrange this a little bit, aren't I? Dang it. And there we go. Well, I'm dead. Good news. You get pulled in and you can't get out. So <laughs> once that happens to mobs, everything's fine. Um... Okay, cool. All right, so, well, we know that works. <laughs> oh. I may have to, to rig up something to where it pushes the enemies into the middle because I've got three rows here. So, I, And this is not a very big spawner trap, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it should be just bad enough. Let's put it that way, right? Just enough mobs coming through. Whoa. Out. No. Dang it. Frickin' died to a lag spike right there. That's <laughs> not going to end well, is it? I took a step and then, yeah, freaking lag. All right, so. Get this set up again. Did I not re-equip my backpack? 
I could have sworn that I shift clicked it on. Oh well. And I wonder if moving those crushing wheels faster makes them do more damage to mobs or not. Now, how much ice do I have on me still? Wrong button. Yep. Uh, blue eyes. If it's in there, it's, or if I don't see it in that one, it's because I'll have to go here. Hey, look at that. And oh, the crushing wheel is doing that. Everything is going to go into this metal belt, right? Do, do, do. There we go. That'll work. So. Actually, probably I'm going to need one of those. What do I have for wooden slabs here? Uh, I have some spruce. Okay, that'll work. Because all my oak slabs are in a drawer. So, uh, the idiosyncrasies of my storage system right now. Yeah, let's try that again without, you know, blowing up the entire world here. Actually, I can just put that there, and if I put you here, and that'll be all the more I need. I don't need that belt to go super fast, so I just need it to, to move items. Perfect. All right, and we're going to go like so. And water elevator. All right. Then we go ahead and give this thing a shot, right? And wow, yeah, that was a uh, quick on the spawning. Boing. You're going to be problematic. Oh, yeah, I forgot to light up the outside of this thing. I don't have Wither Skeleton Charm yet. Oh, dang it. But items are popping up out of there, so good enough. Actually, do I have... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I've got candles from occultism. And I've got some sconce levers, but... And about it, huh?
That's going to bug me. There we go. So, yeah, decent amount of stuff. Um, do you have a barrel here? I have no room, though, for said barrel. I've been picking up everything. And go ahead and just pop an andesite funnel there. And set it to input, right? Boink. There we go, and it's just going to shoot items up into that barrel for now. So arrows, bones, necrotic bone, full rotten flesh. Okay. The one thing that's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to find uses for this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to get any armor or not. That's one of the reasons I'm letting it run right now. And endermen are going to be a bit of an issue. easiest way to deal with the Enderman would be to simply just make it so there's nowhere they can teleport within X amount of blocks. Well, that's the easiest method to deal with them, you know, on paper. Need to make some more food soon. Yeah, look at that. They're sitting on top of those grinding wheels right there. So I can't use, oh man. Right, so oh, that's my bow, okay. Why are you guys... Why are you like this? Yeah, Endermen take damage from the grind wheels and they just be buff on out of there. So I need a way... To... <laughs> Stay put! Holy crap! Um, I need a way to keep Enderman from teleporting. Get back in there. Thank you. And yeah, uh, the the grinder is not. I mean, we're we're getting some drops, right? Okay, so that's what happens when you drop necrotic bones on a grind wheel. Uh, we are getting the rare drops as well. Okay. All right. So yeah. Uh, there's no way to keep Enderman from teleporting in this pack. So I just broke the spawners instead. As well as the Wither Skeletons and Zombies, because uh, Rotten Flesh I don't really need. Same as, well, Zombie Heart I can sell in a trade station, but there are probably other, well, there are definitely other easier ways to get money. But this will at least get us in Bone Meal and Gunpowder. And buy Eyes of the Storm, right? Yeah. Two cold coins each, though. Uh, catalyzing glands, 48 silvers, yeah. But, not a problem. So, 
yeah, that's the thing. But we do have a mob farm for at least gunpowder and, and bone meal so far. Hooray. So what I'm going to work on instead now is... Uh, let's go ahead and clear inventory a little bit here. Uh, let's get a money farm up and running. Also, actually, I don't know why I only have two of those over here, but oh well. I'm going to put these guys down here. I, I'm sh I could uh, have left the Enderman spawners in there, but just look, there's just so many Endermen around here. There, there was more earlier. I scarpered off that way quite a ways and then came back to make everything around here despawn. Improved things quite a bit. Also, uh, stupid thing. Knock it off with the damn gravel. Let's see how it, it should be able to handle that, I think. That stack of gravel right there. At least I hope so. And... It did not. Okay. Nope, I didn't want to pick that stuff up. When I loaded the world in earlier, it had a, uh, there was a pile of gravel here. Because, well, whenever you, you load the world, it breaks machines. These ones, they, they can kind of deal with, you know, that issue. But uh, they have different inventories went off. This one just completely jams up. I could get around it by putting another drawer down somewhere that they can handle just gravel. Oh, by the way, this iron production, that is so slow. 66 iron, 63 flint, or 64 flint now. And the flint I have a void upgrade on. There's no way we can, we can't like sell flint, can we? Because that would be handy. Just get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. And automatic shapeless crafting, packing into flint blocks. And yeah. Can we sell these ones? Uh, no. Oh, well, yeah, but you can really kind of color me unimpressed with the uh, this production here. I mean, I could speed things up a bit, but eh. But we do have our mob farm up and running, right? Bone meal and gunpowder. Well, gunpowder is done. And because it just drops as is from creepers. Bone meal, I'm going to have to grind it up or something. Grind mill. Uh, honestly, though, is it has a chance of producing white dye as well. Probably just going to run it through, you know, an automatic crafter and call it good. But one thing I want to do is, um, hmm, excuse me. What are we doing on seared, seared bricks? Okay, I've got a casting base and perfect. I've got. A fuel tank, awesome. Don't need the heater. Uh, let's see. Okay, that is the actual melter. We don't have like the smelter controller, do we? Uh, we do. And it is, oh, hey, sealed mechanisms around seared bricks. All right, cool. Because we can use. I didn't put it over here really, but uh, with masonry, I think it was. Well, there's brick blocks. Uh, but clear glass from Tinkers can be sold. Right, this stuff. 
think we can. I could have sworn. Yeah, I was looking at JEI backwards. And you see this crap? All right. So I do have this stuff here. And oh, more dirt over here, too. I never did really finish up my basement, did I? Man. Enderman, man. I hate these guys. All right. I have lava over here ish, roughly. If I wanted to run a smeltery, that's kind of the thing, right? Uh, I was looking at the different professions and like masonry. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't masonry, it was uh, mining. Mining, we can get um, money from. Was it? Masonry. Mining, there we go. Uh, we can get it from limestone. Uh, we can get it from gabbro. Which uh, gabbro is smelted granite. That's an option as well. Um, dolomite, we can get it from weathered limestone. We get two silver per stack of uh, weathered limestone. Gabbro gives us one per stack. But granite gives us one per stack as well. And sandstone gives us one per stack. Is there a way to make coal? I don't think so. I could have kept the wither skeletons for that, but... Uh, yeah, they're just dropping too much stuff over there. Too much other stuff. So from this setup here... We can do brick blocks. Uh, we can get more clay from these two to turn them into bricks. And then we can turn this into either sandstone or um, limestone. Which, you know, could be an option, actually. It wouldn't be all that difficult to get it set up either. Uh, it would be basically something similar like this here. Uh, instead of lava here, well, you know, it would still be lava, wouldn't it? To turn clay into brick. And... Alright, yeah, I completely missed, skipped over it, didn't I? Um, let's see. What the hell is it? Oh, well. I'll quit being lazy and just type it in. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it is bulk blasting with lava. Okay. I do have to have an inventory, though, between here and here. Otherwise, the clay won't get cooked. It's just how create is, I guess, to keep you from actually making things you don't want to. They keep you from making things you do want to. It still bugs me how the tall grass like pokes through the block. Alright, well. That looks kind of trippy in the dark. Alright. I need to then probably get something like this set up. Well, let's uh let's look at some of our other professions here, right? Uh fishing. Right, we can turn fish into into coins. Now here's a question. We do not have the aquatic entangler from thermal. Alright. Is 
Does the block still exist, but under a different name? That's the next question, right? Uh, let's see. Nullifier, Vacumulator, Extruder, Accumulator, Extractor, Things of the Explosives. Different blocks. And then we actually have the powered machines. Do we have the furnace? Yeah, we do. Okay. That does require an NVAR machine, which, yeah, is what we're getting ready to start working on. All right. But uh, I have a feeling we're going to need silver in the future, right? Not just for decorative purposes, but we need it for enderium. Also, we're gonna need this uh, the poise stuff. Oh, that's gonna be a chain of pathogenic insulators, isn't it? All right, so fishing though. Back to that. They're way too automatically fish. Um, fish bowl. Nope, that's all the XK deco stuff. Uh, silverfish charm. That could be handy. There's the fishing net. Whereas bamboo and canvas comes from straw, pretty much. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. But other than that, I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Fish bounce from aquaculture. All right, so probably not going to get into fishing then. Because that doesn't seem like something I can easily uh, easily automate. Uh, cooking. I could get into making... We talked about this in the past, right? Bacon sandwiches. We can get nine silver coins each for those. Uh, let me just put some of this stuff away then. And these are, it's cooked bacon, which I guess a deployer would work for that. I might look at something else that's fairly easy to make. Uh, yeah, like, like a stuffed potato, right? Only six coins each. But... Easily done with no interaction here. Chicken sandwich is nine, and chickens are really easy to farm up. Extremely easy to farm up. Also little lag monsters, though. Uh, honey cookie. Okay, that requires bees. 64 gives you two coins. Pumpkin pie? That could be fairly easy, too, actually. I've already got sugar being farmed up. Uh, let's see. Salad, builder's tea. Yes, yeah, that's going to require a bunch of glass too. But it's just leaves, water, and milk. Make builder's tea. I don't know if there's a good way of harvesting leaves in this pack, really. Hamburger requires a beef patty, which requires human interaction. Place of cake, kind of same thing. Tomato sauce. Uh, I wonder if you can automate the uh, the cooking pot. Pump in empty bowls and pump out full ones. Bowl of stuffed pumpkin. Doesn't even have a recipe. Because that is completely... You have to do it manually. You have to right-click on the stuffed pumpkin block. Uh, ratatouille. 16 equals 9. Uh, let's see. I do have my pipes and stuff on me, right? Grab a couple of you. We're going to grab this. Uh, retrieval module times two? Sure, why not? Uh, not that. We even have some wooden bowls. Alright, cool. Let's go try this out real quick. And... So, do the thing here. Go ahead and pull that up.
Well, it kind of connected. You don't connect there or there. Right, get out of here. Hmm, that's weird. I just lost the top quarter of my uh, left monitor. All right, well, I'm going to see if I can do this. Um, I just need to restart the computer, probably. It's not the first time this has happened. And the video is showing up perfectly fine over there, so. And I didn't actually cut. OBS had an encoding error. Uh, yeah, that's looking like a no. It's not pulling the bulls in. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to do a few things, like restart everything. And, yeah. I'm also going to try to find a good way to get silver automated. But uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.